anything with the sun in our eyes. Just shoot anywhere into the front row. Those who fall will trip those coming after. Yahweh! Yeah! 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 Shoot! Job to finish. There. Refill my cup. I want to offer a toast to my son. Drink your fill, Jonathan. Today you won your first victory. With the captured gold and silver, we'll finally have arms cast in metal. They'll be even better than the Philistines' weapons. That's not music. It sounds as though he's torturing an animal. Get rid of him. Find me another if you value your life. But, uh... Yes, sir. All right, that's enough. Get out of here. We'll go down into the valley and face them in battle, and we'll beat them. May the gods stand witness, we'll take back what's ours. With our combined forces, we'll destroy them. I've had enough of those Jewish rebels. We've been fighting them for years, and we never succeed in keeping them down. They've even managed to cast weapons in metal now. How can that be if it was forbidden? Every time we lost a battle, they carried off all our weapons. Then they brought in arms makers from Tyre and cast as many as they could. No matter, sir. It won't do them any good anyway. Saul was a violent, uncouth shepherd. Now he considers himself a king. Now he and every last one of his barbarians will learn to fear Goliath. <laughs> With Goliath as our captain, nothing can stop us, right, men? Yeah! 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 What will you do to Saul when you get a hold of him? I won't kill him. I'll put a collar on him and make him guard my house. Goliath! 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 
Let's go get them. Listen to me. Why should you all be forced to fight this terrible battle? Choose your champion and let him come out and fight me. Let the two of us settle this once and for all. Don't tell me there isn't a man among you who'll stand up to me. What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? I'm challenging you. Send out your man and I'll fight him to the death. Send Saul, your king. What does a king do if not fight for his people? Saul, where are you? Come out and fight! He's been threatening you for 40 days now, sire. And my people, what have they been saying of me? Father, the people are convinced that you'll stand up to the giant and beat him. But he's 10 <gasps> feet tall. I wouldn't stand a chance. Huh? And you? Why did you stop your playing? But I wouldn't disturb you, my lord, as you reflected. You play your music, boy. What I need is somebody good with a sword. I should go fight him myself. There's nobody better than me with a... What am I saying? I might be beaten in battle, and where would my dignity be then? Trampled upon by a bunch of Philistines. Sire? Get away from me. Get out. Just what do you think you're doing, boy? Victorious king, I want the honor of facing Goliath myself. You what? You weigh less than a fledgling sparrow and you want to face Goliath? He weighs as much as five bulls, perhaps even more. But yesterday I watched him very carefully, my lord. I went with some of the other boys. When I was a shepherd, the lord saved me from the claws of a bear and a lion, and then I killed them with my bare hands. But if there's anyone else among your men who wants to face Goliath, I would be more than willing to leave him the honor of victory. <laughs> Is anyone else interested? <laughs> a sad day it is indeed when a young boy has more courage than all my courtiers put together. What am I, a dog, that you come at me with a stick? By the Lord God of Israel, I'll fight you without sword or spear. Come forward, you little pipsqueak, so I can share your flesh with the birds and the beasts of the field. Not even worth the effort, is he, Goliath? <laughs> <laughs>
David, come. My lord, I didn't hear you come up. How may I be of service? Relax, there are no giants around today. You don't know how glad I'm to hear that, sire. Believe me. David, you fought for Israel and you won. So let it never be said that Saul doesn't reward a brave young warrior. A horse? You mean you're giving it to me and it'll be all mine and I can ride it and everything? It's your just reward, my boy. It took a lot of courage to face up to Goliath. There's nothing to be afraid of. Jonathan will teach you to ride, won't you, my son? Sure, it's easy. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. There's not much we can do until it sets, but then their herds will be ours. Not to mention their women. Their, land, their women are ours. ours. Their flocks the are ours. ours. Everything. Everything. There is nothing to be done. All is in the hands of Yahweh. Our lives are finished. And soon yours will be a torment. I'm not going to let them cut my throat as though I were a sheep. Many of them will die before I do, I swear it. We'll fight as we always have, in the name of Yahweh, now and forever. some sort of sign. Yes, it is the voice of Yahweh. Blessed be his name. In the name of Yahweh! Oh, oh, Yahweh! Look, you know who that is? It's David, and he has more than a thousand men. Saul has killed a thousand, but David will kill ten thousand. Yahweh is with you. Praise him always. Honor his name, and his sword will forever be in your hand. We were lost, but now we've been saved. May Yahweh's name be praised. Glory to Yahweh! 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 May his name be blessed. He alone is victorious.
Where's this man come from? What does he want? Well, David sent him, my lord. He says he has something for you. Really? And what would that be? What would our young hero want from us? He wishes you all good things, my lord. I'm sure he does, but tell me what's in the bag. Sire, you sent my lord David against the Philistines, and he did what you asked him to do. He defeated them. He defeated them everywhere. I know that. Everybody knows that. So? You had asked him to bring you at least 100 foreskins of Philistine warriors, and that if he managed it, you would give him the hand of your daughter Mikol in marriage. Well, there you are. He has done exactly what you asked. A hundred Philistine foreskins in your name, sire. Just as you asked him to do, he is victorious. Be quiet, woman. Just hold your peace and let me take care of this. Thank you, good man. Tell your Lord David that Saul, the king, intends to keep his promise. Everyone knows, my lord, that Saul is a great and generous king who always keeps his word. Of course I always keep my word. Father, look, it's David. That's the problem. She sees David everywhere. Ridiculous. He's returning from battle with Jonathan and his men, father. Nicole, I do not want to hear one more word out of you about David. Do you understand? Don't you talk to your daughter that way. David is handsome and strong. Hold your tongue, woman. Don't you set my daughter against me. Enough! If you hate David so, why did you decide to have him called in from the desert? You could very easily have left him to sleep with the wolves. What do you mean? I don't hate him. Everyone knows you do. Now you're being absurd. Ever since he killed Goliath, you've been envious of his fame. Well, if it bothers you so much, why didn't you fight Goliath, Saul? Why? Why did you send that boy in your place to gain the honor that should have been yours? I told you to be quiet. Now do what I say. If you feel nothing but hatred for David, what possible reason could you have for insisting that he marry your daughter? I told you to be quiet, woman. But if you want the truth, the reason I want him married to my daughter is so she can spy on him, so he can be put on a tight rein like a wild horse. <gasps> David will kill ten thousand. David. Mikor! Hear what those fools are They're saying? They're young, my lord. They mean you no harm. They're his friends. Let them shout their praises of him. Keep your sword sheathed, because they fight for you. David, my 
love, never in my life would I betray you. Nicole, you will always be Saul's daughter, and you would obey him even if he were to kill me. I love you. I married you today. Before he killed you, I would kill him. really want to go through with this, my lord? Do you dare to doubt me? It was the twelve tribes who chose me as their king. I alone am fit to lead them. It was I who protected their wives and their children and their flocks from the Philistines, and instead they do what they do. They acclaim him. Now you tell me, Lieutenant, whether I should allow him to live. Express an opinion. If you say I should let him live, I will. Give us the order, sire. We're ready. Nobody is to follow me inside that house, Lieutenant. Do you understand? No one must know what happened. Let's go back. David, play some music for your son. Get out of here, my children. Go on, get out! Do as he says. Obey your father. My lord and father, why do you hate me? Have I not married your daughter? Have I not defended your flocks, the tents of your tribe? Have I not defeated your enemies? You have done much more than that. You have stolen my place in the hearts of my people. You have become first in their eyes, and I, their ruler, a poor second. They say Saul has killed a thousand, and David will kill ten thousand, but Saul will kill David! I can't believe I missed. May the Lord protect my king. An invisible hand turned my spear, and I remained rooted to the spot when I should have gone after him. Why was that, old woman? Why? My king, you know well that God blinds those who do not love. He escaped along the river, sire. Not for long. Come on. <laughs> oh, God Most High, I beg you to save the three of us as you did for Moses. Give me some water. Well, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. Find David the shepherd, son of Jesse, and kill him. Jonathan, my brother. Mikul. God never abandons those who love him. David's future is. Is he angel or demon? You, the king of Israel, are afraid of him. My people love him, and my children worship him. 
You want him to fear you like everyone else, but he doesn't fear you, does he? What a miserable man is the king who cannot make a shepherd fear him. Instead, it's the king who's afraid. David was anointed king, just as you were, Saul. When? By whom? Tell me. Who has betrayed me? Long ago, when he was still a boy. Tell me why. It was the Most High who anointed him because you sinned then, as you continue to do with the vile sin of pride. What was it I did that offended Yahweh? In front of your people, you sacrificed a young calf as if you were a Levite and were purified, and you are not. To exalt your power as king offend Samuel. So the Most High put David on your throne and commanded Samuel to anoint him king. Woman, you must save me from him. I can do nothing, my lord. Tell me how to get rid of him, then. There is nothing anyone can do, my lord. The spirit of the Most High is within him and is very powerful. I knew you would seek me out, my boy. We've come to stay with you and praise Yahweh because I can no longer fight for Saul. My house is your house. Today we celebrate because Yahweh has seen fit to bring David here. Heed my words well. Prepare my fattest sheep and fresh fruit. David will soon be Israel's righteous king. <sighs> And still you complain of King Saul's behavior. When you asked me to anoint him king of the tribes of Israel, I warned you that he'd take your sons to war and tax your harvest. But you said that you wanted a king to better defeat your enemies. Well, you asked for a king, and now you have to live with him. Why have you come here, Saul? One reason only, to kill. You know it is written, thou shalt not kill. I have to kill him to free my tortured soul. Why do you want to live in sin? Why do you insist on fighting God's will? You can't kill David. You must know that. I live my life filled with anger and envy. My days are as black as night, so tell me where to find him. I won't, because those who hate, hate God. Who can believe you, a king whose promises are worthless? Which way? Nigh it or rather? To nigh it first. Huh? Abel, it's you. I've been waiting for you for three days. Well, where's David? Don't worry, David has left. The road is clear. You certainly picked the wrong village. There's no money in all of Nyot to buy your wares. And what's your name, good woman? Who might you be? Mikor's nurse. I have been sent by her father. Oh, God help you, Mikor. <gasps> oh! Simon, what are you doing here? I've been sent by your father, the king. What does my father want? He wants you, Mikor, and your son as well. I am not his. It was he who gave me to David as his bride. And this is my son by David. So get out of here. David is no longer welcome in the house of King Saul. What are you doing? You will wed Paltiel, your father's friend, and a better man than David. In the whole world, there is no better man than David. I'll give you 20 horses and 100 sheep. That's not enough. All right, 30 horses and 200 sheep. Not even close. David's a fearful warrior. Yes, I know that. Just tell me what you want. If you promise me 100 horses and 1,000 sheep and goats, I pledge to be the king's servant. And I promise you that I will kill you and all your people if you go back on your word or if you so much as touch my son Jonathan. I only want David's head. Let go anyone who escapes, as they will surely come back to me. 
Why do you hate David so much, my lord? I swear to you, I don't know. The prize is worth the price. Yes, but difficult to catch. I know, I know. He defeated Goliath with a stone. But he's never come up against someone like me. Son. Is that you, Ophir? It's good to see your face. Here, this will refresh you. Uh, 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 Jonathan, David. Oh, my brother. Tell me, what brings you here? You've got to escape while there's still time. My father made a blood pact with the tribe of Matan for a hundred horses and a thousand sheep to kill you and bring back your head, and he can't be far behind me. Do you know how many men there are? Hundreds of them. They're climbing the mountain down below. There are only a few of us here. I sent the others to winter in the valleys. Matan knows that. I have always loved your father as his loyal subject. But in exchange for my loyalty, he steals my wife and repays me with hate. Years ago, when you killed Goliath, in that moment you planted in his breast a seed of envy that has grown out of all control. I can't believe that's it. It's more than that. He knows that the Most High has repudiated him for his sins and that you will reign over Israel. He's not fighting me. He's fighting God. He must be possessed by a demon. We'll fight as we always have. Yahweh is with us. The kings came, they fought. They fought the kings of Canaan. At Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They got those spoils of silver. For the heavens fought the stars. From their courses they fought the Cesara. The torrent Kishon swept them away. Curse Meraz. Sleep. Men! Keep your eyes open, it's an ambush! Stay close to the rocks and they won't hit us! Angel sent from the Lord, you saved all of our lives. All I did was follow his voice in my heart, and so I came. Why must you go back? It is written that I shall never be a rebellious son, so I must go where he commands and go back to my father. Yahweh! Yahweh! In the name of Yahweh, now and forever! May Yahweh be with you until the very end. Thank you, Jonathan. Take care, my brother. Matan and his men went to get him on the mountain, and now it appears as though they brought the prize back, my lord. Show me. You're not from around these parts, stranger. Who are you? 
I am David, son of Jesse. Why have you come here? Don't you know how dangerous it is? King Saul is looking for you everywhere. If you don't hide, he'll kill you. You must leave here immediately. There is no need for me to hide, because the Most High has his hand upon my head. I've come here to his house to speak with him as Moses did, because his people have strayed far away from him for too long, and their king has betrayed his trust. But the Lord anointed him king. Yes, and it's the same Lord who punishes him for his sins. Instead of going into the desert to repent, Saul has abandoned the Ark of the Covenant and persecutes the righteous. The day will come when the Ark will have a house of stone and high walls to protect the wealth that Israel carries away from its enemies. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Guide my steps always and show me the path to enlightenment, but above all, fill my heart with courage. Wait here, I'll be right back. Women, I've brought these dates for Paltiel. My master sends them with his compliments. And just who is your master? Oh, David. Nicole, how is our son? My tears have washed away his memory. Come away with me now, this very minute. I brought a horse for your escape. Have you told my father about it? Your father? What are you saying? Your father wants to kill me. I can't come with you, David. I belong to my father, and he gave me to Paltiel. It's my punishment for having loved you. If I were to run away with you, we'd only be killed. Can't you see? Nicole, <gasps> wait. <gasps> Please, Nicole! We must be as silent as mice. He's all yours, David. Kill him. What are you waiting for? Do it. Kill him? No, I'm not going to kill a king anointed by the Most High. His death will come only at its appointed time. Then why did you come here? He would have killed you. It'll be enough for him to know that he was in my hands and didn't die. Come on. Welcome, my king. Ah. Uh, David, my son, I was looking for you. Why, my lord? To kill me? You had me at your mercy, and you didn't kill me. Tell me why. There must be a reason. Because I'm faithful to Yahweh, and it's written thou shalt not kill. But then that means you've come back to help us fight the Philistines. Of course, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I'll give you everything. Men, horses, all the gold you could want. I'll never fight for you, Saul, because you betrayed me a thousand times over. But Yahweh is trying to punish my sins through defeat. May his name always be blessed. You can still save your people from destruction and shame. Stop wasting your words, Saul. You know I'll never help you again. Fewer and fewer people would want to know their future if they knew it was filled with monsters. <laughs> I plied you with gifts. Now change my destiny. I only read the future. I cannot change it. And you, my lord, are destined to die. But there is someone who can change it, and you know who that is. Samuel is dead. Not even he could have changed it. Then call him, because it was he who anointed me king, and only he can save my kingdom. I can't, my king, I can't. It is against the divine law. You will suffer no punishment if you do what I ask. I'll do what you ask, my lord. Please spare me. I'll do it. I see a powerful being rise from the earth. An old man in a white robe. Huh? Ah! 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 Why have ah. you called me? The Philistines are winning. Even David is with them. Because you have sinned against the Most High a thousand times. Injustice reigns in your heart. You have not listened to the voice of Yahweh. But I fight to make the kingdom of Israel greater than ever. You have profaned that kingdom, and God will give it to the Philistines. Change my destiny, Samuel. 
You have sinned too greatly against the Most High, and for this he has abandoned you and your kingdom. <laughs> Feel strange fighting with the Philistines, sire. We fight only for Yahweh, and where he leads us, we must follow him. so the uncircumcised heathens won't have the opportunity to vent their hatred of me. I do not have the courage, my lord. I can never do that. <laughs> Take the weapons of the king and his sons. They belong to Astarte. Then collect the bodies and hang them on the walls of Bethshan. So everyone will know the kingdom of Israel is finished. Soul sword, soul spear, soul shield, soul bow and quiver. Hey! Yahweh gave us a king. Yahweh has taken our king away. Yahweh will give us a new king. May Yahweh's name be blessed. We commend the souls of our King Saul and his commanders to your divine justice. Cry, O children of Israel, cry. Saul, the king, anointed by the Lord, is dead. His son Jonathan died at his side. They were swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. Cry, children of Israel, cry. The king dressed Jonathan in purple, hung gold and jewels on his clothes. Cry, children of Israel, cry. I love Jonathan as a brother. We rode together, his hair flowing free in the wind. His friendship was the most precious thing I possessed. Cry, children of Israel, cry. Be silent! Be silent! David, son of Jesse, it is now seven years since Saul died.
For seven years, the tribes of Israel have fought among themselves to decide who would be their king, although they knew you had been anointed by Samuel the judge when Saul disobeyed the Most High. Now the tribes of Israel are tired of fighting. They have seen their best sons die and the Philistines and Jebusites triumph. Now they have no more tears. For this reason, David, the elders of Israel have brought the Ark of the Covenant to Hebron as a sign of recognition that you are their king. So they have written. What say the sons of Reuben? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Simeon? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Judah? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Issachar? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Zebulon? Our king is David, son of Jesse. What say the sons of Benjamin? Down there is where the lands of the king of the Jebusites begin. The town of Jerusalem lies in the valley below us. It used to be the home of our father Abraham, and furthermore, it's in the land of Israel. If you defeat the Jebusites, you will restore the capital to your new kingdom, sire. Yahweh will give me my capital. I will conquer it for him. Keep up the pace! Keep up the pace! We must reach the town before sunset! Seen us. It's as if they've been swallowed up by the earth like the worms they resemble. impregnable city of Salem. Jebusites!
I have a feeling the Israelites will attack tomorrow. You must be dreaming. There's nobody out there. We have patrolled far and wide, sir. There is no sign of an attack. I spoke with several merchants today, and they don't share your opinion. Did you see any signs of movement out there? Nothing special, sir. Just a small group of Jews moving towards the city. How many men did you count? They may have been a hundred out there, sir. They hid from us. It was hard to tell. We saw more than a hundred as well, sir. A hundred coming from the north. More than a hundred coming from the east, sir. I was on patrol on the road to the south, sir. We counted about 30 heading towards the city every hour. It seems to me this is proof the merchants are right. The figures speak for themselves, sir. If each patrol saw one or two hundred, that means there are well under two thousand altogether. There's nothing to worry about, sir. Even if there are three thousand out there, we'll beat them without any problem if they storm the walls tomorrow. No, Mokita, no. If you think there are three thousand, that means there could be at least thirty thousand. David is a shrewd commander. Tomorrow morning, we'll leave the city with every available man. Flush them out and destroy them before they can mount a siege and trap us like rats. Yahweh, I await you here at the gates of Zion. He who reigns in heaven will strike down the enemies of Israel with his anger like a fiery sword. He who reigns in heaven will confound them with his fury. He who reigns in heaven says, I have chosen my king, and I have placed him on my holy mountain. I have led him to Zion. It's time. Let's go. The king of the Jebusites uses Jerusalem as a base to raid the territory of the tribe of Judah. From here, he can strike at the tribes of Benjamin, of Reuben and Manasseh, and all the tribes of the kingdom of Saul. If we capture the city, he will no longer threaten our people. Every attack's been driven back in the past. The king knows he's safe in one of the most impregnable cities in the world. That may be, but Joab has worked out a strategy. While King David and most of his men keep the Jebusites busy at the city gates, I shall lead 300 courageous volunteers along the Kidron River. When we reach the spring of Gion, the Lord will lead us into the heart of the city.
Israel, 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 Israel. You will go no further than this, King David. You will die before you profane our gods. Listen to me, Jebusite. He who reigns in heaven has said, I have chosen my king. I have placed him on my holy mountain. I have led him to Zion. <laughs> It is written, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of bondage in Egypt. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image of anything that is in the heavens, or on earth, or in the waters. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, so has Yahweh said. <laughs> Throw them outside. has today delivered Jerusalem into our hands. Yahweh has won the battle for us and reunited the tribes of Israel. From now on, this city that Yahweh has given us will be known as the city of David. David will rule over all the tribes of Israel now and forever. David is the man whom Yahweh ordered Samuel to anoint king of Israel. He is our victorious ruler. Israel! 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 I shall send messengers to Mesopotamia and Egypt. I shall call on the world's greatest architects and carpenters to make this city more beautiful than all the others. I shall build a temple to Yahweh, and when it is ready, I will bring here from Judea the Ark of the Covenant with the sacred tables of the law left to us by Moses. Water, please, water. Four Sabbaths have passed since our men left to fight with King David. What happened at Jerusalem? The city is ours. David and the tribes of Israel have won. Now King David has ordered representatives of all the tribes to go immediately to Bala in Judea to fetch the Ark of the Covenant and bring it to the city of David. Before my eyes close forever, I'll see the descendants of our forefathers united in a single kingdom. May the Lord on high be blessed, for in his mercy he has blessed his humble people. People of Israel, today is a day of great celebration. Do you see me call you? 
Your king is naked. He is not my king. I was abducted as part of the spoils of war, and he set me free. But ever since then, he has never once smiled at me. He behaves as if I don't even exist. Mikol, daughter of Saul, come dance with us. Shame on you, David. You cavorted and dressed in front of your slaves as if you were one of them, or merely a common performer. What glory have you gained from this? You're right. In the eyes of Yahweh, I am nothing but a performer. But you are angry because he preferred me to your father and all his house, and he made me king of his people. I do not care if I appear ridiculous in your eyes. I'm not dancing in praise of you. I'm dancing in praise of Yahweh, my God. He has blessed me and all my actions. Instead, you, Mikol, are destined to remain alone, more alone than a widow in the desert who has no tears left to shed. Almighty God has blessed your reign and rewarded your faith in him, David. But there is one worry weighing on my heart, Nathan. I have conquered a capital for my kingdom. I have built a house for myself and my children, but I have not yet completed the temple for the Ark of the Covenant. I must keep the promise I made. Tomorrow morning I will summon my architects and commission them to build the most beautiful temple in the world for Yahweh. Do whatever it is you have in your heart, David, for Yahweh is with you and will be with you always. I have been sent by Joab, our commander, to report that the campaign you ordered against the Ammonites has been successful. The country is now in your hands, sire. All the young men have been put to the sword, and all the young women have been made slaves of Israel. Now you possess the livestock, the horses, the wealth and riches of their kings. The triumph is yours. What news of the city of Rabbah? We are holding it in a state of siege, my lord. They are expecting reinforcements, but we will ambush them in the valleys and destroy them before they can deploy against us. Honor to my courageous army. Let it be known that when the tribes of Israel are faithful to their God, God is a faithful friend to Israel, because it is he who has guided our victory. Sublime Yahweh. Yahweh! 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 One more time. Yahweh! And so it shall be forever. No, so it shall be until you betray him, King David. What are you saying, Nathan? How could I do such a thing? All men are tempted by sin, David, and you are no exception. There is one thing a king should never forget. God loves those who are humble and punishes those who are swept away by their pride.
Uwer, come out here. Yes, my lord. Do you see that house over there, the one with the cistern in the yard? Yes, my lord, I can see that house. Who does it belong to? That is the house of Uriah the Hittite, one of your commanders, my lord. at this hour. I wish to speak to your mistress. <clears throat> what is your business here? Why do you wish to speak to me? I wish to speak to you alone. What I have to say is of a confidential nature. Please ask your maid to leave us. Who has sent you here to see me? My lord, the king sends me. The king? That's who I said, the king of all Israel. Recognize this seal? He wants to see you. Your king, Bathsheba. Why have you summoned me here, my lord? Because I saw you bathing in your yard, Bathsheba. Woman, my lord, as you well know. My lord. May the ground you tread be blessed, my lord. You are welcome here among your brethren. We are your faithful subjects now and forever. Welcome, my lord. This exquisite necklace is made with stones wrested from the heart of an African mountain, guarded by lions and poisonous snakes. All I ask for such beautiful craftsmanship is five pieces of gold, my lord. It's just what I'm looking for. Oh, oh, may God bless you, King David.
Play with the sweetness of an angel, my lord. Soon you will return to playing your favorite music, Uriah, brandishing your sword, fighting our enemies, the music of the battlefield. sound of your music cannot soothe my despair, my lord. I will be led in chains to the place where tortures and punishments are carried out. Then what, Bathsheba? <laughs> then I shall be stoned. I can already see myself being dragged through the streets of Jerusalem. What are you saying? What horrible dream have you had, my love? It is not a horrible dream. It's a sweet dream. But it is a dream that can never be, for I am bearing your child. Don't worry, your king will never abandon you, Bathsheba. The law of Israel is more powerful than its king. What shall I say when people see my condition and question me? Soon my husband will leave for the wars again. But Uriah will sleep with you again before he leaves. You have no choice, woman. You know what must be done. I know, but what if he doesn't want to? What if he doesn't sleep with me before he leaves? He will know the truth and his anger will know no bounds. As soon as we enter and destroy Rama, I will bring you the news on the very same day. But you may already give thanks to the Most High, my lord. You are a man after my own heart, Uriah. One of the best soldiers in all of Israel. Thank you. Your words are flattering, my lord. I have been told that you've been so busy with preparations that none of you have slept with your wives in these days. Is that so? Our men are camped in the desert, facing the enemy. They have little to eat and risk their lives. Instead of going home to our women, we prefer to share their hardship, my lord. You are a brave man, Uriah, and so are your companions. Return to your men outside the walls of Ramah and tell Joab that your king and all of Israel are with you. Tell me, are you afraid of dying, Uriah? No, my lord, I do not fear death. I will be writing a message to Joab, and I want you to deliver it for me. A messenger will bring it to you before your departure. Now you are dismissed. Are you ready to write, Eutarius? Yes, my lord. To Joab, commander of the Israelite army, you have gained many victories. You will continue to fight and you will continue to win. Because the Most High is on our side, I want you to know I have great esteem for Uriah with whom you sent your report. I want you to place him in the forefront of the battle to come. Then, when battle is joined, you will leave him there to fight alone, without fair support. Until he is struck down and dies like a hero, he deserves that title. I shall never speak of him with you again, and you will never speak of him either. Signed, David, King of all the Israelites. Ah! Ah!
God gave you victory over the Jebusites. You received Jerusalem as your reward, and you brought the Ark of the Covenant here with the Law of Moses. From then on, you have always been victorious over your enemies. Your flocks and the number of your horses have greatly increased. Your strong boxes contain uncountable wealth. You have taken all the slaves and concubines you ever wanted. You have had children, many children. There is nothing possessed by the kings you fight that can rouse your envy. What you say is true, Prophet. Why did you force the hand of God, your only superior? Why did you commit the sin that now festers in your heart? What are you talking about, Prophet? What are you saying? You know what I mean, David. Today, the Most High is ashamed of you. Come right out with your suspicions. Say them to my face. Or is it the devil and not God who piles accusations upon your king? You are being arrogant, Nathan. Arrogant! I will not tolerate arrogance! The blood of Uriah the Hittite will fall on you and on the child you have conceived in sin. What can you possibly know about the fate of Uriah the Hittite? My king, your son is dying. Speak with the Most High and ask him to be merciful. Not for us, but for the baby. Tell him we have sinned. Tell him that we implore his forgiveness, that it is not right for the child to pay for our sins. It will do no good, Bathsheba. The Most High is angry. He no longer speaks to me, no longer listens to my voice. But there is still someone in the land of Israel that he does listen to and who could speak to him on our behalf. I shall go to him. My king! Open the gate. I don't need you any longer. Go home. Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. I have sinned. You will shed many tears, my son, but the Almighty will hear your plea and forgive you your sins. What about Bathsheba's son, my son? The child who was born to you is without strength and will die. That is the will of the Almighty God. sinned against the Most High, against Bathsheba, against my people. <laughs> Why are you here, Prophet? What have you come to tell me? The will of the Almighty Yahweh has been fulfilled. You mean he has taken the life of my son? Yes, his soul is at rest. Now that you have repented and the Lord's will has been done, what will you do about Bathsheba? Help me to my feet, Nathan. You haven't answered my question, David. What do you intend to do? I will install her as queen of my harem. She will bear me another son, and I will make sure she lacks for nothing for the rest of her days. Yeah!
I want the Philistines' capital raised to the ground. May the Most High be praised. Israel has found her king again. <laughs> this first group is destined for your harem, my lord. They were all rich and their jewelry will end up in your treasury. The second group will go to the officers. Yahweh has been generous with us. We have conquered all the peoples who worship gods of stone and untruth. <laughs> now that the tribes of Israel have no enemies from Egypt in the south to as far north as Syria, it is time to go home, Joab, and await the reward that the great Yahweh has promised us. I thought our victory was our reward, sire. The reward I look forward to comes in flesh and blood. Yahweh, this is Solomon, the son of David, your servant. May the name of the Almighty Yahweh be blessed forever. <laughs> 